Well, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Frickin' snow. Well, it's 1.56 in the morning, or in the afternoon, whatever. I've been up for a little bit, actually. I got up at around 12.30, let the dog out, had a shower, cleaned myself up, just been chatting on Skype here with some friends, and uh, just hanging out. Yeah, just taking her easy, and well, friggin' yesterday you saw the temperature, plus 21 Celsius, which somebody on my... Uh, YouTube said that's about like 60 degrees or some shit, so. Uh, and uh, today it's, well, let's see what Siri says here. Siri, what's the temperature? Burr. It's zero degrees outside. Yeah, so that's a change of like a lot, and it's supposed to snow all day. Well, 30, 40, 50, 50, whatever. So, let's ask her. What's the temperature tomorrow? The high temperature for tomorrow will be 8 degrees, and yeah. the low will be 0 degrees. So, like, look at this. Look at this. Come next Monday, 20 freaking degrees. Today it's snowing. Just dit. Anyway, people, welcome to Canada, where the weather can't make up its mind. Apparently it's not just here, though. We've got a lot of reports from people down in, in the USA that are saying the weather is all over the place, too. So, what can you do, right? I guess all I can really do is say, welcome to my vlog. Shit, she's just giving her outside. Just giving her. Son of a bitch. But the snow's not sticking to the ground, so I guess the ground's too thawed for it to actually, uh, you know, do what it's supposed to do. Oh well. Oh, well, hey, where it looks way worse out this window. Look at it. <laughs> Holy shit. But you know what's funny is I did what I said I was going to do a couple videos ago and go back and watch last year's videos around this time. And it did pretty much the same shit as it's doing right now. So, I honestly can't call this crazy bullshit weather because last year it did the same damn thing. And I remember a couple years ago, it was like uh, close to the May long weekend and it snowed. So, what can you say? What, what, what can you say, right? The weather's dicked. Welcome to, uh, to central Canada. Because apparently we're no longer classified as the North, now we're the Central. But anyway, welcome to Central Canada, where shit is dicked. Shit is dicked. So I'm probably doing something stupid right now. It said you can, so I'm going to give it a try. Basically, in here, I stuffed my spring jacket, and uh, I'm going to try and wash it. Because I realized it's fucking filthy. So I'm hoping that it doesn't destroy itself, and I'll have a spring jacket. And if it does destroy itself, I'm going to have to go shopping for a new spring jacket. Yeah. So I was going to go to Crappy Tire today, but uh, yeah, I found out those deals I was talking about with the lawn spreader and all that other shit. Apparently it's not a deal. Apparently it's regular price, so it doesn't matter when I go. However, it might matter this weekend because, you know, flyer day is coming up and God knows what kind of deals they're going to have in there for lawn care and things. So yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, well, it's getting a little bit later. I wanted to go to the grocery store. Before I frigged off to work to uh, get some shite. Fuck, is it ever snowing out? Now it's starting to stick. Uh, this weather is totally dick. This weather is totally dick. It's totally dicked. Totally dicked. This weather is totally dicked. Yeah. See what I mean? Totally dick. Totally dick. Totally dick. Totally dick. Yeah, it's just snowing out like a son of a goof. Look at my car. Freak sakes. Oh well. Let's head over to the independent grocers. We'll scoop up some shit for coffee and maybe something for lunch tonight. And then we will head off to work. Let's pitter patter and have at her. Well, it's 3.38. We got our stuff. We got some coffee whitener and shit. And uh, it's on our way to work now. So let's hammer down. Yeah. It stopped raining or snowing, but it's still raining. Still raining. Well, it's snowing, but it's not sticking like it was, that's for sure. Thank God. Couldn't see around this minivan because there's a freaking truck in the way here. High riding truck, and I couldn't see if anything was coming, so I peeked my nose out and almost got my nose taken off. Yeah. Both Walmart and Independent have got their garden section set up with all their bagged soils and bagged fertilizers and peat moss and you know all that shit. And uh, 
with the size of the snow. Because <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but uh, nothing says, hey, let's plant some vegetables and flowers like a blizzard. Best time to do it, apparently, eh? Well, they had that big box. Remember the last time I went there, I went to Independent, and I bought that big box of coffee? Well, they got had it on sale again, so I went and scooped her up. Holy fuck. This road is just destroyed. They got to come in here and repave this. But yeah, I went and scooped that up so I can have a whole bunch of Keurigs at home because I left the other box at work and I just brought one of the bags home. So now I got another box of that. So I got a bunch of coffees for at home because I love my coffee. It's so freaking great and yummy. Oh shit. What a nasty day out today. Huh. After yesterday saying I was overdressed and today I'm like, no, nope, no, nope, not overdressed. Well, my, my coat finished wash, uh, washing there in the washing machine, so I threw it into the dryer. I'm gonna see if uh, it gets completely dicked over, if it actually uh, stays in one piece. Should be okay, it says right on the freaking uh, tag on the back of it that it is machine wash safe, so. And it doesn't say not to use it in the dryer, so I can't see why the frig anything would go wrong with it. But if it does blow up and explode and stuff, well, we'll just go to Walmart or I'll start wearing a hoodie or something during spring. I have a nice white Exco uh, freaking hoodie, so I'm sure I'll look like a gangster and people will think I'm packing a nine, but uh, you know, maybe they won't talk to me as much. Ask me for cigarettes. Never fails every night when I'm on break. Somebody at the bus stop walks over. Hey man, you got a smoke? Yeah, I'm smoking it right now, bud. It's fucking great. You know? Because all these ass hats are gonna be turning up at Main Street. And this is the second time in a row. I think yesterday I got stuck at this light too. Son of a bitch. Buick Verano. That must be a new car that Buick released. Never heard of that model before. Probably the replacement for the Buick LeSaber. Friggin' Ford's releasing their little uh, their little Fiesta with the uh, 1.6 liter EcoBoost engine. GM's releasing their little Econo box car, the Sonic, with a turbocharged engine, a little 1.4 liter turbocharged or some shit. Dodge has the Dodge Dart with a turbocharged engine, I think. All these uh, domestic car makers that are, you know, not really domestic because 90% of the parts are made overseas or in Mexico, but whatever. Um, all these quote unquote American cars, um, they're all coming out with little turbocharged Econo boxes. I'm thinking this summer if we have the ST Fiesta on the, on the lot, I might have to go take that for a little test drive. Take it out for a little rip and see how she does. Especially if it has a five-speed manual transmission. Oh man, that thing would go like no other. Like stock, it's pretty sad. Stock, the uh, Fiesta, with the, like the non-turbocharged model, just the standard model, has more horsepower and torque than my old Ford Focus did, and it has a way smaller displacement engine. Like my old Ford Focus only had like 110 horse, and I think it was 110 horse, 120 foot-pounds torque, and the split port injected uh, uh, engine. I didn't have the ZTEC in mine. I just had SPI, and uh, it was pretty good. It was actually uh, a pretty peppy little car with the five-speed. But I did drive one with the automatic, and holy fuck, what a world of difference. It was, like, it was like a whole different car. The car just had no balls. Now, obviously, there's been a lot of improvements in automatic transmissions with the increasing number of speeds you got. So, you know, I think they got, uh, Ford has some transmissions out there with like six speeds and they're uh, freaking nice. And then they got that, uh, that new technology, that CVT chat technology. So it's pretty sweet. It's like driving a car skidoo. I'm stuck at this fucking light. Urgh. Everybody's turning over here. A little, a little tracker. A little tracker. All right, let's give her. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. So yeah, I'm thinking I might want to take that thing out for a rep. A little ST. They got the Focus with the EcoBoost engine too. Apparently it goes like snot. So, you know, ever wondering how fast snot goes? Well. You know, it goes fast. Um, um, I think I'm between the lines. Fuck it. Who gives a shit? In a couple hours, it won't matter. Nobody will be here. 
Well, it's quarter to four. I gotta head inside and get this shift over with. So I guess I'll talk to you guys on my break and hopefully it's not too windy and I can talk. So until then, peace the freak out. Holy for freak's sakes. Yeah, grass is all white again. That won't last. That will not last indeed. But yeah, some bitch pile of monkey nuts. She's really coming down right now. Great big fluffy flakes. Like look, you can tell. Great big fluffy flakes. Oh, starting to get the dander. No. Thinking tonight when I leave work, I might go top up my tank. $1.21.6. Frig yeah. Could be a pretty damn good idea. Eh? Stock the tank at a buck twenty-one. I don't know why I'm excited about that. It's still expensive as frig, but it's not too bad. Not too bad. Well, here's hoping the city's not stupid and doesn't send out the salt trucks because of the snow. Because it's supposed to get warm later on in the week and uh, by the weekend too. So here's hoping they don't do that. And if they do, that's gonna suck because it just means longer for until I break out the Trans Am. Because I don't want to drive it when there's salt on the ground. Not one bit. Anyway, people, my uh, break's almost over. There's not really much to talk about, so I'm going to head her back inside, carry on with this night, and I'll talk to you later. Hopefully the snow gives up and lets up later on tonight. Freak sakes. Alrighty, guys. Well, it's friggin' midnight. 12.05, zero degrees out. If you're wondering why I didn't do any vlogging at 8 or 10, it's because the uh, carpet cleaner guy showed up. Yeah, and uh, you're probably thinking, well, what does that have to do with anything? Well, I guess the vacuum's one of those big bastards that sits inside of a vehicle because they have it running out of a... I don't know if you can see it back there somewhere. Uh, if you see that van over there, that white van? Well, the vacuum sits in that thing, and it's a noisy motherfucker. So, I couldn't really do any uh, any any vlogging because th that thing's just grinding and growling and hard. Oh, it's just going nuts. But it was funny because I came out at eight o'clock for a cigarette break, and sure enough, the one guy's like, uh, he's like, all right, well, how are we gonna get this started? The other guy's like, okay, so friggin', uh, we're gonna go ahead and take the guy and hook it up to the antler. And I'm like, the fuck, you know? <laughs> I go over to the guy. I'm like, hey, he's like, hey man, how's it going? And I'm like, you a fan of One Pug Life? He goes, oh, a big big fan. And I'm like, oh, okay. And he goes, wait a second. And he looks at me. And he goes, yeah. You you know him. You, you've been to his place. I've seen you on his videos. And I'm like, yeah, man, I, I know Chris. I know Chris. And he's like, right on. Yeah. High five. You know, high five. Big, big fan. High five. And I'm like, right on, bud. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go and smoke my cigarette. And I walked away and he's like, smoke cigarettes. Yeah, it's pretty awkward. But uh, small world, eh? Freaking carpet cleaning dick. Watch this pug one. Right on. Anyway, people, I need to head home. Let's go. All right, people, I'm home now. Just let the dog out for a piss. I don't even have the camera on him and he's already bouncing around like an idiot. What's the matter with you? Stop it. Stop it. Freaking nut. You're ridiculous. Okay, you can stop now. That's enough. Oh, you. Shut up. Shut up. Hey. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm telling you. Enough of that. God, it's just annoying. But I'll show you what I got at the grocery store. Um, basically, another big ass box of the coffees. Frig yeah. Some freaking sweetener here. It is the dextrose kind. Not too shabby. They had this wine on sale. I don't know why that thing's on there. I don't know what the hell that's all about. But uh, they had these strut wines on for sale. Two for two for 20. So I was like, oh, I like wine. So I got me some strut wine. Um, this one here. Um, can't remember which one's which, but one of these is a dry wine and one of these is a semi-dry wine. So I figured I'd try them out. Normally when I drink wine, it's Briggs, Briggs and Stratton. No, it's Jackson Triggs. That's the proper name. Jackson Triggs, Briggs and Stratton. Now that's the friggin' motor and the friggin' romper track. But, uh, yeah, it's Jackson Triggs that I normally get. And that stuff there is pretty cheap and I figured, meh, let's give her a go. Why the frig not, you know? Should be pretty awesome regardless. Alrighty, well I'm gonna head her upstairs. So you guys remember a long, long time ago, back in 2010 I think it was, when I used to go to the farm, and me, Rickham, Where's Bobby, and Eric's Garage 101, we went to a car auction in London, Ontario, and afterwards we went to Bloke's house and we pranked him by basically uh, pretending he'd never seen Eric's Garage, we had Eric be a Bible salesman. Well, we broke into the backside of Bloke's house and scared the shit out of him in the kitchen. Okay, well, that auction, ever since then, they call me every time there's going to be an auction to notify me. They call me, and then when I answer it, you hear, doot, and it's like a voice recording. Hi, I'm so-and-so from so-and-so auctions, letting you know that there will be an auction next Wednesday at blah, blah, blah time. Be there. Your entry is waiting. And it's like, I went once, three freaking years ago, 
get over it, you know? But uh, I tried calling the number back and it basically just rings busy. So it's obviously, uh, I have no idea how to contact this company and say, take me off your call list. But uh, whatevs, you know, I'll let them keep calling me. I don't give a shit. But um, I'm probably going to shut the vlog down here, people. Call it quits for tonight. Not really much else going on. Just going to take her easy. I might clean up my bathroom a bit and then uh, go see if times. So on that note, if you like today's video, hit the like button. If you have any comments to make, you know where to make them. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.